AI models are what they eat. If you show them high quality data, they're going to be high quality. If you show them low quality data, they're going to be low quality. The challenge is how do you identify what is high quality data? And that's the problem that we're obsessed with at Datology AI and that our entire company is focused on. Um, so before uh, starting Datology, I had been a researcher in ML for a long time. I'm just showing a couple plots from some papers here, but our whole goal at Datology is to make models train better through better data. Um, we had a paper that was fortunate to win a best paper award at Neuris. So that was the foundation of uh, what we uh, are doing here um, that showed that, you know, the scaling laws that have really driven all of the projects, progress in AI, more data, more data. It turns out if you focus on which data, you can do dramatically better than these scaling laws. And the plot on the right is from another paper that we have published showing that we can get to the same performance in literally half the compute um, using uh, some very simple approaches. Um, so we are a bit trying to commercialize all this and make it easy for everybody. So the problem that we're solving is that the companies that want to set the standard in AI um, want to train their own models on their own proprietary data. Companies are sitting on petabytes of proprietary data that's unstructured, unlabeled, um, and is really their most valuable commodity and what ultimately differentiates their models from anybody else. However, there's a huge challenge in how do you make effective use of this data? Um, what oftentimes people just do is they can't train on all the data. So they take a random subset and they say, let me just train on that random subset. Um, but it turns out that that's really bad because that results in models that take a lot longer to train are much worse and cost a lot more money. So what's the solution to this? Um, data curation as a service. So what we do with Datology is we provide enterprise customers with an easy to use solution that fully automates every part of the data curation process from data sitting on storage uh, to data being fed into a model. And in doing so makes models much, much better. And that's, that's the goal that we're building towards. So why is this hard? Why is this something that a customer wouldn't just want to do themselves? Um, well, first off, the existing offerings that are in the data space are really built for the, for the 2010s, where we have this supervised learning paradigm where you take a data set, you take some small subset of that data, you'd have it labeled or annotated by scale AI or some other data annotation provider. Um, and then you would go and train on that small data set. And now what we do is we train on the, literally the entire internet on billions or trillions of data points where it's just not feasible to have a human curate the data and see what's good and bad. We need to do this at scale in a fully automated fashion. And that's really hard. This is a frontier research problem. Um, most ML researchers do not know how to do that. It's kind of a little bit crazy to expect that your average end user would know how to do this. Um, and finally, in order to do this, it's not a, a factor where there's a single silver bullet of do this technique, and now you'll have a really fantastic data set. It's rather composing a number of techniques in a complicated way that such that they stack together and you can find a bunch of modest gains to get really huge gains uh, where we can oftentimes reduce training costs by two or four X or more. Um, and you have to do this while making sure that it scales to petabytes of data um, and runs efficiently and that the cost of doing this curation is much, much smaller than the savings you provide. So it's a really meaty, hard technical problem um, that has a lot of exciting challenges uh, to face. So um, why are we the right people to do this? Um, well, we are the world of leading experts in data research. Prior to starting Datology, I had been a researcher in ML for about a decade. I was at FAIR most recently at Meta for five years, before that at DeepMind. Um, and uh, we won multiple best paper awards for the work that kind of the foundation of this company. My co-founders, Bogdan and Matthew, have deep expertise in engineering and building large engineering orgs, doing petabyte scale uh, nearest neighbor searches. Um, and Matthew was the head of data research at Mosaic right before it got acquired uh, by uh, Databricks recently. Our story so far, we're a pretty young company. We're only about nine months old. Um, we raised our seed in September 2023 from Amplify and Radical, 11.5 million. And then we just announced a couple of weeks ago our 46 million Series A. So we're extremely well capitalized, um, have a lot of uh, the resources we need in order to tackle this really hard problem. Um, so help us make Datology the data engine for AI. Um, our current team size is 13. We're small but mighty. Um, between us, we have four best paper awards at major ML conferences. Um, previously researchers from FAIR, from DeepMind, from Snorkel, from Apple, Mosaic, tons of other places, extremely high caliber of talent. Um, and we have two big challenges that we need to solve. On the engineering side, what should the data stack look like for AI? If you think about the data stacks we have, they were built for 10 years ago. They weren't built for this modern era of large scale machine learning. Um, help us come and design what that should look like from the ground up. And on the research front, 
we do, we firmly believe you don't need to have a PhD to be a researcher. Um, and there is so much to do and to innovate in this direction of how can we make the most of the data that everybody has so that these models work for everybody and we can democratize it for everybody. Um, and this is a picture of us at our recent offsite uh, and looking forward to talking to all of you later. Thank you.